Grade 7, TCAP practice test, math section, question number 35. Sophia makes 35% of her shots in a basketball game. What is the ratio of the number of shots Sophia made to the number of shots she did not make? So in this case, I'm doing made versus missed. Not like the cloud near the bottom off the ocean, but missed us. She didn't make them. Anyway, uh, first thing I need to do is figure out uh, what percentage of shots she didn't make. So when we do a percentage, we're doing like how many out of what's the best grade you can make on a test with no bonus, 100. So I'm going to take 100% and subtract 35%, and that gives me 65%. So the real ratio is 35 over 65. Now if I take that and plug it into the old calculator as a fraction, which is what ratio is, it should reduce down to 7 over 13, which seems to make a lot of sense because we're doing numbers of shots she made versus one she did not make. 35% means she made less than half, so the number on top should be smaller. Our only other logical choice might have been C. But 7 to 20 is what it would be if you took out of 100, I'm guessing. And I'm going to check that now because I'm an obsessive compulsive type of person. If I reduce 35 over 100, it gives me 7 out of 20. That's not what they're asking you to do here. They're asking you to do made versus missed. So writing something like this on your paper makes a lot of sense. Just writing a few things down can get you the right answer way more often than just typing things into the calculator and hoping for the best. And you know, you want to make a decent score on this thing because it could help you get to eighth grade or whatever. So take a few seconds to write some things down. You're in good shape. And remember, for a percentage, everything comes out of 100 anyway, so it should give you the answer that you're looking for.